Henry Hudson Bridge is a critical structure linking Manhattan to the Bronx. Uh, we have approximately 75,000 vehicles a day traveling over the bridge. The bridge itself is the first fixed steel arch bridge in the United States. Hi, I'm Walter Hickey, the facility engineer for MTA Bridges and Tunnels, and I'm stationed here at the Henry Hudson Bridge. We're in the north end of the bridge, closer to the Bronx than, than Manhattan. And we're doing a new project here. It's replacing a structural element on the bridge called the curb stringer. And while we're at it, we're also replacing the roadway lighting. The structural support that we're replacing is original to the bridge. It's about 75 years old. It's suffered wear and tear over the years, a little bit of deterioration. It's about time now that we change it. It's a fairly large project, almost $32 million. So the project will take uh, 33 months, which is almost three years long. As, as part of the project, once we remove this structural element, we'll close all the steel below, all the beams and stringers and whatnot. We'll examine it, uh, replace all the deterioration that we see with new supporting steel. We will then uh, place a new roadway to the end of the bridge, put traffic on that area, and then switch over to the next stage. Some of the, the positives is for this job is that the bridge will get wider lanes, 11 and a half foot versus the 10 foot that we have now, and we'll have a safety shoulder on the, on the east side of the bridge. The project is on schedule and we expect completion in the fall of 2013. During that time frame, we do expect the lane closures on a daily basis, but with no impact to the traveling public. When we are completed, we can look forward to wider bridge lanes and better decorative lighting on the bridge.